How's it going everybody? It's Gorilla Man here back with another car mechanic simulator video. In today's video guys, we're going to be kicking things off with an oldie but a goodie. This is a 1968 Dodge Dart stock car. Um, so it's all souped up. It's got a roll chat. It's like, like a roll cage um, enforced chassis and everything on the inside reinforced chassis um, And it's got a v8 hemi in it right now. I believe uh, it's just the block missing most of the other stuff, but I Really want to stick with this because this is what it came with um, also. It's the l023 model or uh, What I don't I do not know what that means, but it's there regardless uh, but we're, and where we in today's video we work it on the uh, the hemi motor uh, because we can get a lot of power out of this and I just think it'd be, it's, it's a really cool one to stick with keep it in the car how it, how it was meant to be and uh, Yeah, so let's just get started with this uh, first things first is I'm gonna get The motor out that would that would come up uh, We're gonna bring our welding fab kit over, you know Hey the crane hoist out of there all right, we're just gonna go right under and I'm gonna unbolt the transmission, which I do believe there is one Yeah, transmission's still in there What is that? What is that? Oh It's like the uh, It's the look of the it's like the fake transmission. It's not the actual one, but it's the it's the mod the mod actually makes it look like there is okay a little weird, a little weird, but that's okay. Screw around, make sure I got everything. I'm gonna pop off these pipes here. Make it easier to get the thing out. Drop you. And then... There you go, engine should pop right out. Get this thing added. There's, like I said, there's not really... Go flatten that out. There's not really much to it. Uh, we're missing the oil pan. Uh, both heads, intake. Looks like we have missing most of the front uh, timing cover pretty much everything actually I mean uh, honestly we're missing everything I think even pistons wait what the heck yeah so it looks like we basically got a bare block here with one or two parts added onto it but that's okay a little a little strange but Let's get our radiator out of here uh, I'm trying to hop to the back here I want to get there we go I was like I want to get to the back I gotta get the battery out all right, there we go. That stuff's out of there. Get the battery charging while we work on the rest of it. Um, next up, we're going to do this. Get the welder on. So what that does is it fixes the body, brings it back to 100%. Um, we'll pull off any of the parts that appear to be rusty, which is everything pretty much. Uh, okay, I think that's... Oh, and the windows, yeah. Whoa, that glass is weird. The glass dips in. Okay, that's probably pretty hard to produce way back then. Back in the 60s, late 70s, early 70s. Late 60s, early 70s. All right, there we go. Most of that stuff is out. Okay, we were able to repair a good amount of stuff. Um, I think I have the front end repaired, right? Yep. Headlights good. This fender's good. So it looks like it had a blue paint job at one point. Uh, not sure what that was with. All right, any other parts on us that we can use? Both busted windows, and we got a rear left fender. Okay. Let's see, where does that go? Front left fender. What about a rear left fender, though? I have got no idea. All right, that's okay. We'll just skip that part for now. Go back to the engine bay. I'm gonna get the servo thrown in there. Our new radiator. Let's see, it's got its own. All right. Uh, next up, we're gonna finish the body. We're gonna get all the new panels put back on, new glass uh, all around, and we'll pop the tires off. Or actually, here, we'll pop these tires off quick. And I'm not gonna go with the uh, the stock rims here because they're. Uh, they're pretty bad, honestly. Okay. There we go. The stock tires rims are gone. Uh, we'll keep the same uh, size and depth and everything and like profile. 
uh, width and all that, but we'll switch around the rims definitely. Uh, first off, let's go with the body mods. Uh, so let's go 1968. All right, looks like we have pretty standard stuff here. I don't think I can really mod it out and do anything special. Just trying to make sure I buy only the parts I need. And then let's go back up to the top here. 225, 70. Our 255, 70, 16, and then 15. So we need a set of 15s and a set of 16s. Smaller in the front, bigger in the rear, I'm assuming. Uh, we're going to go look for some classics here, too. We're going to have some classic rims. Hmm. These ones are pretty good. These are pretty pretty nice, pretty muscly looking. Go to the 15, it's good to go. Go to here and we'll do some slicks because this is going to be uh, most likely on the drag strip. So it's be 25570. Okay, 25570 16s. Go back, bump it up to 215, 205. Oh. But still same profile at the 70. We're just shrinking the fronts. We're shrinking the widths on them, but uh, keeping them still still looking the same size from the side view. All right, get that mounted while we wait. And then we'll wait for those to go. We'll just get all these stock parts back on. Still all grayed and primered. Uh-oh. There we go. Save that. Right, really quick recommend saving every once in a while because I've had some weird glitches in the past here uh, where I get stuck and I can't get out of it so I'm gonna try not to let that happen this thing's got a pretty cool hood on it good place for a scoop or an air ram to go in hmm we're missing the front left headlight I bought the right oops that's okay I'll get this window in and I think I'm missing one more part, but I'm not sure where this part goes Come on There we go All right, get this tire mounted So the last part that we still have to put on here Is the rear left fender part. I'm not sure what that is though Mounted. Hmm. Yeah, 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 give me that window. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright, I'm still not sure where this piece could possibly go. Uh, that's alright though. We'll skip it for now. We'll come back. Dodge. We'll grab. Uh, wait, is that the top? Yeah, I guess we'll go with the darker one. All right, let's get these added in. Okay. Up here to the back. Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, we'll wait for that last one to finish, then we should be able to throw the tires on, see how they fit, and then we will be able to roll this in, get it painted. Uh, let me get the interior cleaned out really quick. Oh, hold on, I gotta, we gotta jockey around some cars here. Gotta get the Porsche put in the garage, or in the parking. Oh, oh, there we go. Porsche is gone. Oh, we gotta get this moved out of here. This is special, and this is for the next video. We back-to-back -back dodges. All right, there we go. So now, do the detail. The welder put back. Body's looking pretty good. We got all of our tires mounted and balanced. Okay. So the rears are gonna have the larger ones. This is just so we can uh, wheel it around right now too. Wait, I think it's the wrong one. Yeah, so we're just getting the tires on so just so we can actually have a rolling shell here so 
looks like the stock versions of these actually had slicks mounted too. Yeah, the slick, that a slick tire, and then it had the the Jeep Willys uh, rim. All right, well there we go. There is a rolling shell now. I think we're missing one thing though, but I don't know where it goes. Hmm. Yeah, the body is almost there. It's just missing rear left fender. Rear left fender. Just taking a good peek around here. I have an idea, actually. Move this back to entrance A. Hmm. So it looks like this. And honestly, I have no clue what this could possibly be. Dodge dart rear left fender. And you would think to go back here to the rear left fender, but not seeing anything. Maybe on the interior. Anything, anything? No, no. Pop this. Nothing up inside there. Huh, that is strange. Maybe it's underneath the car. Maybe we'll maybe once we get that motor back in, we'll actually uh see what it is, but for now, it's okay. I will figure that out at a later date. Uh get this thing moved to the paint shop now. We'll check out what the original paint was and then we'll see what that door panel paint was, maybe. I, or the fender paint, because I did like that. Okay, so it looks like it's all it's all a little white. Uh, I'm going to try and get that same blue we just had, though. Purple-y. Yeah, it's a little purpley. Just a little bit too much. So super, super deep saturation. There we go. Drop the color and brightness down. Any livery on this? Oh, we got the front black, the hood black. Ooh, we got that rear. Okay, okay. What even? Is? Oh, it's like a rust. Is it a rust paint? It is. Okay. Interesting. And this is black in the rear and black in the front. This is like a clear. Okay. Uh, we're going to do this one, actually, the five. Uh, it's going to be a uh, black hood and a black rear stripe going across. The good navy color. All metallic, too. That's nice. I think the other color, the the plain one there on number six was a... Uh, it looked like a stock car. Like a stock car matte paint job or something. It was weird, though. Super weird. Alright, close these. And now... Oh, yeah, that is... I like it. It's looking pretty good. Uh, let's check and see what it actually asked for for interior pieces. So we got charger stuff. All right, I can do that. Interior. Probably takes the 70 charger stuff. Yep. Two of those, no bench in this. There we go. No headrest. So if you get in a car accident, your neck's going to snap off. But, you know, this was 68, 70. I don't know if seatbelts were a thing in this, is there? Well, yeah, it looks like it's got some seatbelts. Barely, I think. All right. Let's move that up and let's get working on the motor here. Uh, I'm just looking around it, thinking what I want to start with. All right, let's just... I think just tear it down. There's not really... Too much left on it. I think we got what? Clutch and crankshaft and then we're done. Yep. Wow, all right. Well, that is, uh, <laughs> that's that. That's pretty simple. Uh, I can just run over here. Prepare them. Boom, we got what we need. So now I'm gonna have to buy all the parts from the ground up. Um, I'm just going to go through time lapse this though for you guys. Uh, we're going to do the full motor with performance parts and everything because it had the 549 horsepower stock. Uh, we're going to be trying to pull 
eight to nine hundred out of this thing minimum. We got some slicks on here. It should be should should be ready to uh, handle that power. So uh, I'll get this thing worked on, and I'll see you guys back here in a couple of minutes. Alrighty guys that took me like I think 10 minutes or nine minutes to put this whole thing together from scratch Definitely sucks not being able to take one apart. That's like like broken But uh definitely sucks not being able to take one apart Because then you know the parts you need like I had to go back and forth and look so many times to try and find different parts as you guys saw there, but Doesn't matter in the end. I finally got it done. I think Yeah, okay. Oof, I feel a little scared there all right, so now we can get this put in there and go into here tuning or no, not tuning uh, custom gearbox. Get this thing popped up in the air. Check what the gearbox is that we're going to need on this. I'll get a custom version. V8 overhead valve F. 3600. It's good. Uh, good price. Okay exhaust pipe v8 overhead valve b and we need some middle mufflers okay we got this uh exhaust pipe b is that the right one Exhaust pipe v8 overhead valve v8 overhead valve b V, oh my gosh. There we go. V8 overhead valve B. Scroll down here to find those pipes right there. So then hopefully we can just go into here and go to middle muffler. And I'm assuming we're going to need cats and stuff like that, but I'm not sure yet. So there's the. Then we're going to need rear muffler, V8, overhead valve. I don't think I have any extras of those. Double check. Nope, doesn't look like it. Uh, we'll go with the rear. All right, there's the classic. It's nice to be able to add mufflers on some of these mods because if you couldn't, uh, then it's basically just lost power. All right, and we're not going to do the suspension today, guys, just because I don't have time to get that one done. Um, so we're just going to stick with how we got it right now. Uh, let's see. Can I add? There we go. It should be able to run pretty straight. I might have one or two issues here and there, but I'm not super concerned about it. All right. I think we got everything in here we need. We'll get our oil, we'll put on the cap. 
All right, we'll get this loaded in. I still have not found the spot for the rear left fender, so I'm going to be looking for that. Um, but I might not find it today. All right, so there's that. Drop that down. Get our crane put back in the spot it needs to be. Oh, no, that's not what I want. Uh, let's see. Come on. There we go. All right, what's this thing worth now? 50K? All right. 50K and still got an absolute uh, crap suspension, but that's that's all right. They still like it. They still let it run. Uh, let's test it, see if it'll go on the dyno. Cannot start engine. Ah. Yes. Uh, hard to run a car when you have no fuel running to the run to the motor. Uh, almost forgot to do the uh, the fuel. I did forget to do the fuel tank and the fuel pump, so. And there we go. Now, there we go. Yeah, now that car should start. All right, so look how small those front wheels look. It's pretty funny. I'm going to be saying four, okay, 456. I'm going to be saying about seven to 800, actually. I'm going more on the 775 inch. That's my, that's my guess. 775, guys. All right, let's see what this monster can put down. Seventy-nine percent gain and a seventy-eight, or yeah, seventy-eight percent gain in the uh, torque. So eight hundred and nineteen horsepower and almost a thousand pounds of torque. Uh, she quick. She definitely, uh, she definitely quick, guys. And now that I got that extra gearbox in there, we're gonna take this thing on to the drag strip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess with the gear ratio really quick. Uh, we'll give it five gears if it's doing that so max speeds 45 83 120 201 um i'll be yeah that should be good maybe 192 and then like 226 all right let's see if this thing can actually put down the numbers that it says it can oh yeah i also want all oh, that the srt hellcat oh i'm so excited for that one all right but let's see what we can do with the 800 horsepower here. I'm thinking we're gonna run like a nine second quarter. If I don't flip, of course, cause my, yeah, my suspension is pretty bad. Uh, as you can see, it's, uh, it's still pretty rusty. So we'll see what we can actually put down for numbers, but I am pretty confident here. All right, pretty good, pretty good right off. Third gear already hitting 100. Oh yeah, we are cruising. Okay, there's six. There's our, that's our top set for gears. 226 is our top speed, so let's see if we can hit it. Oh my gosh, 215. Oh, we gonna crash. Oh, we crashed. 215 time miles an hour. A one second zero to 30, a two second zero to 60, and a five second zero to 100, 19 second zero to 200. Uh, that's a pretty quick, uh, it's a pretty quick quarter mile. I think that's a, probably a half mile or not half mile. I don't even know what that stretch is. It's definitely not um, a quarter mile from where the uh, ending is to, to now, but dang, that was pretty good. Uh, I gotta say it, it's pretty, uh, it's pretty quick off the line. I think definitely adding those last two gears uh, helps. It definitely could not do uh, do well without the extra gearbox because it would have topped out at 160 like within like 10 seconds, I think is what it was. But there we go, guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. I really did. This is, I think this thing looks super, super good. Uh, it's super nice for an old muscle car. Um, it's nice to see a Dodge Dart actually every once in a while. Everything else is like Dodge Challenger, Chargers, you know, M Mustangs and everything, Impalas. So it's nice to see. Uh, a dodge dart every once in a while but thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed the video leave a like and a comment down below i'd love to know what you guys think of this if you guys got any other old stock 
car or any other old uh, like type cars that you want me to check out and see if we can uh, mod and like recreate and make uh, make whole again, rebuild them. But thank you guys for watching. If you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next Car Mechanic Simulator video.